In this tutorial, we're going to use WidgetKit to create a dynamic grid that uses tags to um, filter and display uh, certain items. Let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to Components and WidgetKit. And I'm going to create a new one. And on this one, we want this to be a gallery. And we want it of the type Custom. And I want to go down here and say Create. And I'm going to go to Add Media. I've already got my media uploaded, so this is actually called Areas. And I'm going to put a check mark by all the pictures in there and select. And that'll add them all over here. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is add in tags. So I'm going to go down here to where it says Manage Fields. And I want to manage tags. So I'm going to select tags from that list. And I don't really want light box, so I'm going to delete that off there. And that looks good. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and give this a name. Programs, and I'm going to click on Save. That's just going to save what we have here. And the next thing I'm going to do is just start adding some tags. So what I'm going to do for the tags, I'm going to click on my picture and scroll down and under tags, whoops. There we go. Now that I've toggled back to that, I've got my tags and I'm just going to click on my picture. And it's important, um, I don't have to do an all, it automatically creates an all filter for me. So I'm just gonna start tagging these randomly. Um, I'm going to say online, and I'm just going to copy and paste this to a few more. And we'll go down here, go to online, online, maybe this one's online. Hey, that should be online too. And maybe the owl, I like owls. <laughs> And I'm going to go up here and maybe we'll do some graduate. So you separate them with a comma. So graduate. And I'm just going to copy and paste that to a few more. Let's see. So we'll go down here. Graduate. And pick on the owl again. I'm going to go and add undergraduate. See, so I'm just going to copy and paste that a few places. Oops, I already got that one. <laughs> okay, so that'll give us a basic little um, idea of how to do this. And this is how it's going to show in different spots. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to click over here to where it says Settings. And I want to change the behavior. We want to go to a dynamic grid. And I want, let's say, three columns. And I'm going to give it a quick animation. We'll just do scale up. And save and close. All right, so I'm going to go over here to my article. And I'm going to select programs. And I'm going to go down here and add my widget kit to my article. Hopefully, there we go. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to select programs. 
I'm going to save and close this. And I'm going to go over here and refresh my site. And if I click on Programs now, I have a grid with everything. But I don't have my filters. So let me go back in here to my widget kit and add in my filters. So there's Programs. And that's under Settings and Filters. I want Text. Left alignment sounds good. Save and Close. And now when I refresh it, I should have a line of filters up here. So here's all, and here's just the graduate ones, and here's just the online ones, and here's undergraduate. And that's all there is to it. Thanks.